The Division I college baseball season is getting started today. We're excited about it here at the High Toms, and we're here to get you excited about it. He's head coach Brian Roundtree. I am John Thomas, the voice of the High Toms tree. We've got a lot of former High Toms kicking off their college baseball seasons today. A little bit of warmer weather outside. It feels like it's baseball time. Oh, no, it's great. I mean, well, I mean, once the warm weather starts hitting, I mean, it's everybody's ready to play. They're tired of playing each other. Uh, I, I know the cold weather would give, probably give us another shot or two, but, hey, that's okay. Everybody starts out at 0-0, and, and, hey, everybody's looking forward to a good season. But, you know, looking, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing all these great teams in our area play. We've got some former high time coaches we're going to tell you a little about a little bit about later that are in the college ranks, but we want to talk to you about four players first, and the first of those, some news came out about him earlier this week. That's Luke Gazelle. He's yeah. getting the ball for UNCW on the mound tonight. Oh, I'd say just, just, just so proud of what uh, Luke's been able to accomplish. I mean, he he's a competitor on the mound, and, you know, I think Luke will be a great uh, Friday night guy that, that that will go out there not not only with good stuff but set a presence and 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 that presence and that that body language is so huge from a Friday night guy and and the work ethic that goes along to earn that um, I'm just I'm just so so proud you know proud of him and how hard he's worked to get there and congratulations to him. Another guy we're keeping a very close eye on. He had a tremendous year at NC State last year. That's our former post-87 and high time Evan Edwards. Perfect game named him a preseason all-ACC selection at designated hitter. Evan really tore the cover off the ball for NC State a year ago and only expecting bigger things from him in his senior season. Oh yeah, well I mean Evan, Evan will put a presence in that lineup. He'll put a stability in that lineup. He'll he will uh, he'll have a little bit of a target on his back, but that's okay. I know I know their lineup. There will be other players that will that will pick him up, but but ultimately they can't they can't pitch around him. I mean they're going to have to throw the ball in the strike zone, and I know that uh, uh, Evan's got the ability to drive the ball not only the other way, but also be able to be able to turn on as well and provide some power in the RBIs that's that, that, that's needed from that position where he hits from. Just down the road from Raleigh in Chapel Hill, we have a few former high times on that UNC team, especially highlighting Ike Freeman. He was part of that College World Series team a year ago, but we also had Dylan Enweiler, Jackson Hesterly playing with us this past summer, and all three of those guys looking to be integral parts of the Tar Heel lineup this year. Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, I mean, I mean, Hesterly's a big physical left-handed hitter. I mean, you can DH him, you can you can play him in the outfield. He moves well. Uh, Dylan Weiler's a guy that can play second base, can play center field. I mean, very athletic uh, guy that's a, a base stealing threat. I mean, you make an error and he's going to be standing on third in two pitches. I mean, so, uh, you know, those two guys are going to bring so much versatility to their lineup. And then, of course, Ike, you know, Ike has been a, has been a mainstay there at shortstop. I mean, he's a guy that uh, – that's going to defend it. He's uh, he's going to make make the routine plays, but he's going to make the big plays. And then also, Ike is going to be a guy offensively that's going to continue to get better. That I think is a guy that really put up some uh, good numbers this year. And hey, re you know, just really excited to see those guys get started. I know this weekend, I believe they have Xavier that comes and plays those guys. So hey. They'll be, uh, they'll be ready to roll, I promise you. And then finally, shifting out of the state of North Carolina, we couldn't make this list without talking about Miles Christian over at Middle Tennessee State. Set the CPL single season record for home runs a year ago. Miles looks to be slated to play a little bit of middle infield for Middle Tennessee this coming year and hoping for him to have a really big year with the Blue Raiders and continue on what he did here this summer. Oh yeah, I think he will. You know, this, this past summer was a was a huge shot in the arm for him. He worked at it. Um, you know, he'll he'll be a guy that that will uh, drive the baseball. He's a good athlete. They're going to be playing him some at shortstop. He may play some second, but I think you really look for Miles to play uh, shortstop for them. But the main thing he's going to provide is a presence in that lineup that that, that hey, he's going to going to be able to drive in some runs and uh, you know just just looking forward for big things from him and uh, he'll just go out there and do what he does, and that's, that's hit the ball hard. Excited about college baseball getting started today. You're going to be hearing a lot more about a lot of different high times as we go forward. These are just a few that we wanted to kind of kick the season off with today. Coach, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me.
Well, we've got double guests joining us on High Time TV Talks today. Greg Swear sitting hey. down with us now. And Greg, obviously college baseball getting started. Tree and I talked about the Division I ranks, but we also right. want to make sure we highlight our 33 post-87 players that are also playing throughout the Division yes. I, Division II, and Division III ranks. Yeah, excited. Coach Shore continues to do a great job here. We're so excited. Excited about that. Those guys, some of them already have gotten started this past week. Some of them will be kicking off their seasons over this weekend. But I mentioned coaches earlier on, yeah. Greg, and we don't want to forget about all of our coaches that have come through the ranks here with yeah. the High Times, whether they were players, whether they coached here, and we've got a number of guys who are debuting their seasons this weekend. Absolutely. And one thing, of course, just to let everybody know is what a fertile training ground Finchfield has become. And when you look at the landscape of college baseball in our state and even throughout the southeast and really all throughout the country, I mean, there are High Times dotted everywhere. And today is a very special day for a former High Time who played for us a Vanderbilt former player. Um, he's now the head coach at Davidson College. Rucker Taylor starts off today. He starts off, and then we also have to certainly mention Josh Jordan over here. Yeah. Well, National Coach of the Year is the assistant coach, and I was at the Carolina um, Duke football game when they recognized Josh, and man, the whole crowd gave Josh a standing ovation, and, and what a great story, because you know, Josh spent three summers with us, two as an assistant coach. One year, he actually coached Rucker in 2003, he was the skipper in 2005, and Josh has really etched his name in the recruiting circles in college baseball, and that's why he has grown so much as a college instructor and teacher. He has hooked on with a great head skipper and Chris Pollard at Duke, and wow, look at what that program is mm -hmm. doing now, and Josh has had a lot to do with their success. Certainly has. Plenty more names. You were rattling off plenty of names before we came on oh, camera. Yeah. Almost more, more than you could even count. Yeah, Anthony Rabanski, a former high time coach, is the head coach at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Marcus Clapp, who was a coach here also, is the head coach at Northeast Community College out in Nebraska. Brad Giroux played here, coached here. He's a coach on that staff. David Newcomer, Chaz Frank, they're coaches at Lenore Ryan. Alan Beck, the 2006 skipper who led us to a CPO championship. He's the top assistant at Georgia Southern. Robbie Huffsteller at Elon. The list goes on and on for college baseball, really um, dignitaries, and, and they all cut their teeth here at Finch Field, so we're so excited for them. We could keep going. We have so many more guys to talk about, yeah. players, coaches. We're going to be doing a lot more of that as the season goes along. Greg, thank you for coming Absolutely. in and joining me today. We are going to have many more episodes of High Time TV Talks. You're going to be seeing a lot more about college baseball as the D1 season gets started today. Enjoy.